We're back, the sun is out. It's really exciting to be filming again. And uh, yeah, ever since July, we've been up and running and shooting our amazing new episodes. We made a really kind of bold decision that we weren't gonna come back and film socially distanced duologues. We were gonna come back in the best way possible, our front foot forward, and we were gonna tell the stories that we planned on telling with some minor adjustments for this kind of new post-COVID world. So obviously, to do that, we had to kind of make several changes, not only throughout the studio and how we work, but also in the way we film. Oh my God, that is amazing! <laughs> One of the ways we uh, happened across was an ingenious method of using Perspex screens, which has been a game changer for us. It's allowed us to, to demonstrate proximity between kind of characters, intimacy. It's allowed the actors to really, really run at kind of performance in a way that wouldn't be possible with a uh, two metre distance between them. Hi guys! Today is my first day back at work in what feels like forever. I'm going to show you around the set and show you what a new typical day at EastEnders is like. So apologies for the wire but obviously I now have to mic myself and I'm not great at it just yet. Um, so I've just come into work for my first official day of filming Action. but previous to this we were all brought in for the day and we all sat in the Queen Vic, obviously at a social distance, and had a meeting with our boss, the exec producer, to discuss how we're going to film, what kind of shots we're going to use, what kind of tricks we're going to use. So actually, here is one of our secrets. I don't know if we'll be able to show this. So this is obviously a moving screen. So if we are filming together, it looks like we can be as close as we need to be because of the screen. Or we could walk together with the screen. So we can do a walking, talking shot <laughs> with the screen. So another thing that they've had to put into place is a one-way system. So our building has really narrow corridors. So obviously in order for us to not be passing each other, we've had to now have a new one-way system. So this is the way to my dressing room. We have to sanitise on the way in. We now have to do our own hair, makeup and costume. So I'm just going to show you the new layout of how we have our, do our own hair and makeup and costume. Just so they don't go missing. <laughs> it's not small because you can always add, but it's hard to take away. Does it look that no one's worn any makeup? This is, I feel like, whoa, here she is. <laughs> That's what I used to look like. <laughs> okay, four and a half hours later, <laughs> we got there. Do so I look like Ruby? You look like Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> so we now have to take our makeup bag onto set because we have to do our own checks on set. So I might look like the bag lady later when I'm arriving on set, but you know, needs must. <laughs> I've been so amazed and impressed by people's aptitude for adjusting to these really, really tricky circumstances. Not least the crew who are filming with entirely new techniques. We do a lot of split screen, we do some plate shots, so even though it looks like actors will be acting across a table from one another, they'll be filmed in very, very specific ways so that one actor uh, performs to another and then we take them out and put the other one in. Filming like this is a lot slower, so we've had to reduce the episode length from 30 minutes to 20 to make sure that everybody gets their full episode fix. It's amazing to me how adaptable everybody has been and how committed everybody has been into bringing the show back in the way that we're gonna. I can't wait for everybody to see the stories that we've been telling. You, know, you won't wanna miss it, we'll see you very soon.